is here. with Julia and Julia is from Italia <laughs> and we know each other how oh, it's a long, a long story. story long long story but she is like a sister to me and yes I'm very happy because she's met me in Perth <laughs> and we're here with my mom and Pablo but yeah. I don't like Pablo <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're currently at Scarborough Beach and we're just gonna get some breakfast I Gluten-free breakfast. Gluten-free breakfast, very true. Today's our first day in Perth, and I'll show you our outfits of the day. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> this is my Louis Vuitton bag. Ooh. It's not mine, of course. And uh, this is my little skirt. Ooh. And my top. Ooh. And the uh, Axel Arigato. And then me, I have on this Cine track suit and Nocta shoes and my sh my shoes say Luch World. Oh. We're gonna go eat now and then we're gonna enjoy Perth but I'm so excited to be here with my Julia. I got an acai bowl and Julia got a bagel and my mum, she got a raspberry cake. Okay guys, so I'm here at this random dog beach. This is incredible for a dog beach, like are you kidding me? Julia and my mom have gone down to check out the water. I'm so happy that I'm here with them both. But yeah, basically like this morning, long story short, I caught a flight. <gasps> me, did you guys see that dog? I got a flight earlier this morning and I'm very tired because I was up since like 5.30 a.m. Oh my God. Like, surely multiple dog attacks happen here. Look at me thinking of the worst. <laughs> Always. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Like, wow. Perth beaches are just unmatched. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm super tired. I'm gonna relax now. I think we're just gonna stay at this dog beach for like 10 minutes. But yeah. See you when I see ya. We've left the dog beach and we're now at um, a human beach. It's a stick. Oh my God, you are, Julia is the most sun responsible person ever. What is your reasoning? Uh, I don't want skin cancer when I'm old. <laughs> you have to spread it now. Oh, it's very thin. I know. You see, it only takes a little thin layer to protect your skin. <laughs> ever since I've known Julia, I remember like when we, we, we were younger, we went to Rye Beach and she brought like a head scarf, a body scarf. Did I? Yes. I and, and you were like lying, I was tanning in the sun and you were lying in the shade, uh, like covered, and you no. still got burned. <laughs> well, this is our view right now. Mm. Wow, oh my God. It looks so much better in real life, I'm yeah, not gonna it lie. And it smells good, because the dog beach smelled really bad. Yeah, it did. But yeah, we're just gonna relax now and have a fun time. Later that same evening. Good evening. Oh, good evening. We're ready for, for dinner. Come si dice dinner? Cena. And the so Lia is my date tonight. Si. Uh, I know. <laughs> You're jealous of me. I'm also going to sleep with her in this very bed. <gasps> oh. <laughs> anyway, shall we do <laughs> outfit of the night? Yes. Ooh. Okay, so I'm wearing this little white top. Wow, and these black pants because I was afraid of being cold and the little heels so. so this is my outfit, but I'm not supposed to wear a jacket I don't want to get cold, but I have this Opali set underneath and then I'm just wearing these black diesel heels Because you can't really see them because the skirt's so long. This is Julie's first time at Nobu. Yes We're very excited to eat. I'm, I think I'm going to eat Wagyu <gasps> I don't usually eat meat, but it's you know, no boo. It's no boo. <laughs> we got our drinks. We're here at Nobu. Okay, so my drink is called Nobu Sunset. And I have to say, it tastes like a sunset. It's very fruity, very nice. I like it. It's a mocktail, because I don't drink. Don't drink, guys. Now I'm going to try the drink. That's really good. Okay, Julia's gonna try the yellowtail jalapeno. I don't like jalapeno and I don't like oh coriander, but it's fine. Mmm, it's very soft. It melts in your mouth. Nine. Mmm, it's so good. Okay, we've also got a salted edamame. I get one with a lot of salt. 
Yes. Mm. It's very nice at the moment. We do have edamame in Italy, but nothing compared to Nobu. Nine and a half. This was my salmon avocado roll, and I'm just gonna rate this out of ten. Nine and a half. It's very good, and also I love rice, and it's the first thing with rice, so it's got me excited. <laughs> so we have some white fish tiridito. I'm a bit skeptical about white fish. Oh my god, it's so spicy, I'm gonna die. Oh no. I'm sorry guys, this is five. I haven't had this in a while because I don't think I get this at Melbourne, I don't know why. I don't know if they actually have it. Very fresh. The other one's much better. Yeah. Okay, so we have the beef. Carpaccio. Carpaccio. It's good. I know. <laughs> it's very soft and tender. I'm so excited for this. That's like a 10 out of 10 for me. For me, it's more like 9. Because I, I like the fishy taste. So of course, this doesn't have a fish taste. So we'll try the spinach. Spinachi. It's very good. The dressing is like the carpaccio one. It's very similar. 9. You've said 9 to everything. Yeah. No, we're waiting for the 10. Okay, I'll see how good this is compared to usual. I've had better. It's good, but it's not great. I'm going to have the wagyu, the wagyu. <laughs> Thank you. That should be ready. Oh, okay. It's very nice. I usually don't like meat, but this is very nice. I think it's going to be 10 minus, like not, not full 10. I think I'm keeping that from Melbourne. We'll see. Julia is making coffee. By the way, we fell asleep. Well, I fell asleep before Julia last night, which is saying something. Got home from Nobu and I was just dead, knocked out, straight to bed. And Julia. Buongiorno. He's having a mamma had cafe. cafe. We're waiting for my mom to get here because she's going to take us to Rotnest. See the quokkas. Yes, and we're going to. What are we going to do? What's that thing called? Parasailing. Parasailing. We're going to go to parasailing. We've also, been parasailing before. Oh, together. we have. I remember. Can I say what you did? Yes. Can I? Yeah. She peed from the parasailing sail. <laughs> when we were up above in the sky, she peed. I did. It was a beautiful shower for the fish. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'll show you our outfits of the day. So, my outfit is very simple. My coffee, a normal t-shirt, shorts, and random shoes. The only ones I brought. <laughs> This is my outfit. I'm gonna put on the glasses for the full experience. They're a bit crazy. So I've got my Prada glasses, my Cortez, Cortez, I don't know how you say, top. Then I have this bum bag, whoa. I'm giving full esche today. Do you know what an esche is? Oh, you don't wanna know. Okay. <laughs> and then I have these jean shorts, ragged. And then obviously the Solomons. Julia's judging me hardcore, but you know what? I'm sporty and I'm comfortable. And I'm me. Okay. Eventually. We're on the boat now to Rottnest Island and... It's been crazy already. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, why does this stuff always have to happen to us? Really? Obviously, we were late and almost missed it. But you know what? It's going to be a great day. It is. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> we'll see you at Rottnest. Rotto. Rotto. There's a quokka over there. Look, oh. they're gonna steal the quokka from me. Exploring Australian wildlife. I need the quokka. So scary. Yes, it me. looks like a rat. <laughs> Julia. Quacky, quacky, quacky. Why by the bin? I'm not gonna be able to post a picture oh, of him God, if he's sleeping. by the bin. It's so cute. It's not. This one is wrong. Okay, so we got our acai bowls. Julia has too much peanut butter. So yeah, we're gonna rush and try to finish this so we don't miss our parasailing. And then we'll see you after the parasailing. Yes. Bye. Oh. Okay, you guys, so we just finished parasailing. parasailing and it was really fun. It was also really scary. It was cold. It was freezing. But now we're very exhausted, so we're having some food. My mom got some crostini. No, the same I got. 
They got the same. I got a gluten-free pizza and I'm very excited. Much, much later. Okay, you guys. So, we're now at home. We just ate again. We just had um, Indian. Anyways, we are now here and I've gotten the special creme brulee. Mm -mm. I've been to Perth before and this is where I fell in love with creme brulees because it's so good. <laughs> Mia's gonna have one all to herself and I'm just gonna try it because I was a dumb bitch and didn't get one. But I can order another one. No, it's fine. Oh God, it's so good. <laughs> it is actually very, very good. Mm. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the quokkas. I don't like them. Well, now <laughs> we're gonna go to bed. But we had a great day at the Rottenest Island and mm -hmm. it was very fun. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the gym. Good night, we shall see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. We're here at the gym. <laughs> As you can tell, I just woke up. Julie's well, been awake for a little while. But I promised Julie we would come to the gym. So we're here at the gym. And I don't know what the f we're gonna do. So, Julia is getting started. I've never seen one of these before, but apparently they have no electricity. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Good, Julia. And now I will do the walking machine because it's right next to Julia. I'm not going very fast, but it's kind of comforting. I, I should put the speed up, shouldn't I? Oh, I'm level one. I don't know. Okay, I'm getting off. How do I stop? Stop. Okay. Moving on. This kind of excites me. It's like an arm machine. Oh my god, I was pedaling so slow it hadn't even started. Gone 0.01 kilometers. This doesn't do anything. Like, I'm not in pain, and I guess at the gym. You're meant to be in pain. Julia's going on the treadmill now. I guess I will tag along. Oh, I put it up to 10. Uh, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I fucking put the incline up to 18. I'm gonna pass out. Why am I here? What, what is this machine? A row. I'm a bit scared. Julia is now doing the leg press. Wow, she's got that good form. What I do, just press. There's no way you did that. Oh, God, are you serious? Oh, A little longer than a few minutes later. Ciao ragazzi, noi andiamo nel deserto. Nel deserto. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. going to the desert. I was going to film our outfit of the day, but the freaking bus, bus came. Terrible. But anyways, we will quickly show our outfits. So this is my outfit. I have little cargo pants and a little white top. So I have a little white fox top, and then I have these cactus jack shorts with matching this if I get cold. So that's my outfit. Beautiful. One hour later. We've made it to Lancelin. Lancelin. We're in the middle of it's nowhere. Station. Station. Petrol station. This is what it looks like. This is everything that's here. Absolutely nothing. But yes, now we're getting back on the bus. We've been probably on the bus for like mm, an, hour. an hour and a half. So we're gonna go to the sand dunes now. So we'll see you then. I just thought it would be funny to show you guys this crazy little town. Leah had Italian lessons on the bus. Julia's trying to teach me Italian. Io scoreggio, scoreggiare, yeah. Arrivederci. Ciao bella.
Buongiorno. Buongiorno. We didn't really close off last night because oh. we were so beyond tired. However, last night was, was the best night ever. Uh, it was incredible. Like I've Jupiter. never experienced anything like it. We saw the this. Hubble Space Station mm -hmm. go across the sky. We saw Jupiter with the moons. Oh, we saw the moon rising. Wow. Full moon. Full moon did some manifestation. The Seven Sisters, the Southern Cross. Mm. We saw everything. We saw the yeah. whole universe. But today, we woke up early. We slept probably four hours and we are at so a boat because we're going to swim with dolphins. It sounds very dangerous. We looked it up and there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Bruising, abrasions, attacks. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I shouldn't say what, what we're scared of. This is where we are, and look at that. There's a dog on that little boat. Wiggling his tail. We're gonna go on the boat now. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you. Again, and we're not murdered by a dolphin. the dolphins I'm I like have tears they were swimming right next to us I've never done anything like that that was the best thing I've ever done yesterday the dolphins today wow incredible okay you guys it is the next day. I'm so sorry for not properly vlogging yesterday. I feel like it just got to the point of the holiday when I was absolutely beyond exhausted. I literally went to dinner last night and I wasn't in a bad mood, but I was just in like an exhausted mood, if you get what I mean. And came home and fell straight asleep at like 10 o'clock, which is so early for me, but it's a new day. I had a great long sleep. I don't know if you can tell by my little top, but we're going to the pool. But it's been a really great morning. We spent the morning dancing to Anaconda. <laughs> My anaconda don't want none of my cigar buns, huh? But now we're going to the pool. The pool looks very busy from our room. So hopefully we get a spot. Anyways, I don't really have an outfit of the day because, you know, we're going to the pool, but I'm just wearing a little skirt and a little top. And that's the vibe. So going to the pool now and it's gonna be a fun day. Yeah, that's what I have to say. We are now at the pool. Hello. Oh my God, it's so hot, but it's so nice. This is our little view. With the hot dog legs. Our room is up there somewhere. We're gonna tan. We don't really have much planned for today other than this, so we'll figure it out. By the way, I've met so many of you guys. It's actually ridiculous. Like, I didn't know I had so many people in Perth that know me. It's like overwhelming. Lots of fun, lots of love. See you when I see you. So, Hello. we're just waiting for my mom. She's coming to get us with Pablo. Um, but we're going to a park. What park is it? Kings Park. Kings Park, I haven't been there, so we're going to explore the park. And then we're gonna get fish and chips by the beach because it's Good Friday. GF. Good Friday and gluten free. Oh, Good Friday and gluten free. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes, so tonight we have to pack, but in the meantime, outfit of the day. Oh, so I'm wearing Italiana jeans, which are just regular jeans. Then my shoes, the only ones I brought again. My light blue top. And then I'm wearing Leah's glasses because I, I can't find mine. She's got very extra glasses and I'm not really extra, but I have to go with it. Okay, so I'm wearing the same top as I was wearing before, a little white fox moment. <laughs> white fox jeans. Then these lamp and shoes and these Chanel glasses. Ooh. Julie was like, they're influencer glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we're gonna go now because, oh, I literally see my mom's car. Really? She's right there, see? Oh. So we're gonna go, so see ya. So we're now at Kings Park. Did you see this yeah, That's very Australian. Western Australian Botanic Garden. What are your thoughts on the Western Australian Botanic Garden? It's beautiful, it's relaxing. It's well, very busy. This is very it's nice. Good Friday, nothing's open, sweetheart. The it's phrase true. I've heard most during this holiday is, it's Good Friday, everything's closed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a wild magpie. Pablo's gonna eat it. I don't like magpies. Why do you like them? <gasps> I love magpies, they're so cute. Hi! 
Look at this tree. That's pretty cool. I don't think that's na like native to Australia. A what? A baobab. Boab. A boab. <laughs> it's a baobab. It's a baobab. <laughs> it's baobab. That's so bad. Someone carved their name into the tree. Julia is the typical tourist for the baobab tree. The bird is getting the sugar out of the out of the bottle brush. Wow, that's special. Look how special this walk is. This is like those thing, like it looks like one of those bridges that you see on like TikTok and like the glass goes, yeah, it breaks and everyone freaks out. I feel like that's one of these bridges. Oh, Balls. there is broken glass. Not what we're meant to walk, so it's fine. That's not nice, but the view is nice. <sighs> the steep hill is not nice, that's for sure. Look at this view, absolutely incredible. Wow. So this is Perth city the CBD. Later. Okay guys, so we just got fish and chips. Gluten-free. Where are we? We're at North Beach or something. Yeah. Fish and chips. You know, my, my fish is a fat fish and then... Say yum yum. It's very yum. I haven't had any. It <laughs> looks yummy. Hi vlog. We just randomly did a photo shoot. But it was really good. But yeah, we're gonna go look at the photos now. And Pablo was the star of the show, so we're gonna go check out the photos now. A few inches later. Okay guys, so I have something to say. So basically, as you guys just saw, I got a photo shoot. The photo shoot was great fun. It probably lasted for about 10 minutes. The photographer was lovely. Then we go to this room with beautiful calming music and it feels like you're going to a funeral home to pick pictures of your loved ones and they play you a slideshow of these um, like amazing pictures like shout out to the photographer she was amazing i'm gonna put this out there first just to give you guys some insight we did this photo shoot because on instagram my mum won won a free photo shoot and 500 dollars credit towards photos $500 is a lot of money. If you want a photo shoot, like that's so exciting. Like you're gonna do it regardless. I also looked at reviews online and people are paying $450 upwards for a deposit that is non-refundable, might I add, which is absolutely ridiculous. Sorry, uh, I'm just so angry that they tried to take advantage of my mom. Anyways, no, it's not your fault at all. Like look at my poor mom that thinks this is her fault. Anyways, I was very respectful to the man in question, oh, but basically- she hides it so well. Julia thinks I hide my anger very well. Basically, they sit you down and then they tell you that the minimum price for a photo print, which I'm telling you all would cost $50 at Officeworks was how much, Julia? $395. $395 for a picture frame this big. And I said to him, hmm, I live in Melbourne. Julia lives in Italy. We would really appreciate some digital copies because like how is she gonna get these massive frames sent out to her? He said, well, we don't actually do individual digital copies. So you're telling me that I have to pay $400 for tiny prints just to get digital copies so I can send them to my friend in Italy? Are you kidding me? He was actually trying to convince my mom to pay and she was going to because you know she's a lovely lady and she wants the best but she was going to pay seven hundred dollars for a cubed frame picture which would be worth about one hundred dollars at maximum and i said hold that thought no we're going to pay for four of the smallest ones we had the five hundred dollar credit taken off so in total it was one thousand five hundred dollars for four tiny pieces of paper that oh, take six can... weeks to ship yeah. They reel you in, they tell you you've won, they make you feel good, they sit you down, they get you emotional, they, they make you happy, like, they say how beautiful, they try to convince you to buy the bigger ones even when you say no. I just think that was so disrespectful and they make you feel bad. He was like, you can do it on a payment plan. I'm like, honey, don't have your prices so high if you know people can't afford them. I looked on the reviews online afterwards, which I always should do beforehand and people are complaining about the exact same thing. They won a free photo shoot with $500 credit and ended up paying over three grand. I should have stood up for my mum more because I think it was, I think the way that you treat your customers but is it's really just, horrible. It's a, it, it's a franchise, it's not the man's fault. I guess he has a job. I think it would be fine if you're booking a photo shoot there and you're completely aware of everything, all of the prices. But when you're told that you have won a photo shoot on Instagram, I think that is completely different and it's very misleading and I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy, as you guys can tell. 
Okay. Okay. So. Much, much, much later. Hey guys, so I'm on the plane and we're going home. To Melbourne, mm -hmm. but we like literally had the best, mm -hmm. best holiday time ever. ever. Shout out to her. It was amazing. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Hopefully, we have a safe flight home, and I love you. See you soon. B